everybody, this is Inspire Nail Art, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these 10 different animal prints on your nail. So I've got cow, peacock feather, snake skin, cheetah, giraffe, zebra, tiger, leopard, fish, and turtle. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is paint all of your nails with a base coat to protect your natural nail. Now I'm going to show you these designs one animal at a time. So I'm going to start with the cow print on my pinky. So I'm going to paint it with two coats of white polish. Then I've just stuck some black nail polish on a piece of paper and I'm using a nail art brush to paint little rectangles of the polish onto my nails, creating this cow print pattern. This one that we're going to be doing is the peacock feather. So I'm going to start with white background. So I'm painting two coats of a white polish onto my nail. And then using my striper brush, I'm dipping it into some black polish. I'm painting one straight line and then I'm doing two little curves at the edges. So it sort of looks like uh, an open diamond with curved sides, I guess. And then I'm just using a tiny bit of black polish and just scraping the very tip of the striping brush against the nail to create the extra little feathers on the side of it. Then with another nail art brush, I'm dipping it in a gold polish and I'm filling in that empty space that I created at the top of the feather. And then with the same gold polish and the same brush, I'm going to highlight a couple of those little um, wispy bits on the side with the gold just to add a little more color. And then once the gold polish has dried, I'm using a dotting tool and a bluey green polish and just putting a big dot of that blue right in the middle of the gold to create the peacock feather. The next nail that we're going to do is this snake skin. So I'm going to start with a black background. I've painted two coats of a black polish onto my nail. Once that is completely dry, I'm taking a cosmetic sponge and I have some of this mesh um, just from a bath sponge and then I'm taking a gold polish. I'm going to paint a little bit of a gold polish onto the, the sponge and then I'm going to dab the excess off onto the paper so I only want a little tiny bit on the sponge. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mesh over the nail, hold it nice and tight, and then I'm going to dab the makeup sponge over the top. So then when you take the mesh back off, you're left with this snakeskin design. So the next thing we're going to do is the cheetah print. So start with tan polish. I've got two coats on and then when that is completely dry I've just taken a sheer yellow polish, put some on a cosmetic sponge and I've created this very mild gradient so it's very subtle. And then once that is dry I've gone back in and I'm using a sharpie but you can also use black polish and a toothpick. I just find that with the tiny cheetah print the sharpie gives me a little more control. And I'm just drawing tiny C shapes and brackets all over my nail so filling up the entire thing. If there are any spaces in between those little C's I'm adding uh, black dots just so that the nail is completely full with, of the print and that's it. The next one that we are going to do is giraffe print. So I'm starting with a white base. So I've got two coats of white polish. And then once that is completely dry, I'm going over it with one coat of sheer uh, buttery yellow polish. And then once that is dried, I'm going to use my nail art brush and some brown nail polish to paint um, random rectangles and squares all over the nail to create this giraffe print. So just continue making the rectangles until the whole nail is full. This nail that we are doing is zebra print. So I'm starting with a white base. I have two coats until it's completely opaque. And then I'm going in with a black polish and a striping brush. And I am creating wavy lines and Y shapes across the nail until it's all full. So just holding the nail really still and I'm just dragging the very tip of the striping brush across um, diagonally. And I'm alternating. I'm starting on the right side of the nail and dragging left. And then for the next line, I'll go to the left side and drag it right and back and forth until the whole nail is full. The next one is tiger print. So I'm starting with a white base 
And then once the white nail polish is completely dry, I am taking a cosmetic sponge and I'm painting orange and tan polish on that. And then I am sponging that gradient over the nail. I had to do this two or three times because um, both of the colors that I was using were pretty sheer. But once the color, once you're happy with the amount of color on your nail and it's dry, you are going to go in with black nail polish and a striping brush and create uh, triangles on either side of your nail. So I've got a um, triangle coming from the left side and then um, one from the right side and back and forth until the entire nail is covered in tiger stripes. For the leopard print, I'm starting with a tan base. Once that is dry, I'm going in with a dotting tool and a brown polish. And I am placing several brown dots all over the nail. Once the dots have dried, I'm going in with a toothpick and a black polish. And I'm outlining each of the brown spots with the black. So just making little brackets and C shapes around them. And then once all of the lines, once all of the dots are outlined, I'm then filling in the empty spaces between them with more black dots until the entire nail is covered in leopard print. For the fish scales, I am painting my nail with a shimmery aquamarine polish. When that has dried, I'm using a Sharpie to draw the fish scales. So all I'm doing is drawing little half circles, um, overlapping each other all the way down the nail. And then once I've covered the whole nail with the scales, I am using a toothpick and a silver polish to outline the black, um, just to add more shimmer and make it look a little bit prettier. And that's it, there is the fish scales. Turtle print, I'm starting with a mossy green base and then using a nail art brush and a lighter green polish, I am painting one um, large, sort of abstract rectangle shape in the middle and then around the edges of it I'm creating more smaller little squares and rectangles to create the look of a turtle shell. And that's all there is to it. So that's 10 different animal prints. You have cow skin, peacock, snake skin, cheetah, giraffe, zebra, tiger, leopard print, fish scales, and turtle shell. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you all have a great week, and God bless. Bye.